How's it going, tiny little hot dog cuties? Ben here, and yes, yes, I'm finally, finally uploading a video after probably about two to three months. And most of that was because I just finished my first year of medical school and I just wanted a clean break of responsibilities. I just wanted to have fun this summer because it was going to be, well, it is my last summer ever as far as my as far as my youth goes. So this is my last summer, so I wanted to make the most of it. So I've been very involved in the Atlanta community, meeting new people, seeing new people, talking to new people. So I just didn't have enough time to dedicate towards making videos. But now that my second year will start in about two weeks, I am ready to start uploading again and talking to you guys, sharing my experiences with you guys, and just sharing all the little tidbits of life skills and whatever whatnot that I can share with you and I just want to also announce that yesterday I made my 10 months on tea anniversary so since last time I know I look a lot more muscular I look a lot more rugged my beards coming in and my hair's growing out but I'm probably gonna get a trim sometime in the next week but for my new video I guess of the new school year I wanted to talk about my experience as a medical student and my experience of what I learned emotionally and socially dissecting other human beings in the courses that I took like what did I learn about humanity through those courses and yes medical school students in the United States and many other countries around the world are required to do human donor dissections as part of their early preclinical curriculum so we have a good in-depth understanding of the human anatomy the human body and how anatomy functions in the human body but today's video is not going to be that technical it's not going to be about that experience because a lot of that's just memorization learning anatomical structures in the human body I actually don't want to talk about that today. Today I want to talk about what I learned as far as human social interaction and how humans cope with death and how humans cope with life in general and how we are so so similar and how we are so so different. That's what I want to talk about because I think I learned a lot in that aspect when I took my human donor dissection class. Also, I low-key want to apologize. I'm a little bit stuffy right now, so if I'm taking <gasps> heavy breaths throughout this video or, like, I guess get sound kind of stuffy, it's because I am stuffy and I have no idea why I've been stuffy for the last two weeks, but I hope, I hope that goes away eventually. But back to the main topic of this video. So I just want to start off with the fact that I'm a very humanistic person. I'm very sentimental. I get super emotional. And I get very connected with people, I get connected with people's lives, I get connected with people's emotions. People always say that I am so, so good at det detecting when someone is sad or when someone needs a hug or when someone needs comfort. So for me to be put into a class, my first experience ever being in a human body dissection class, I was so, so overwhelmed because I value human life so much. and. To be able to see something like that for the first time in my life, it was so shocking to me because one of the biggest things, one of the biggest fears I realized I had was that I had this inherent fear of death. I was so, so scared of death in undergrad, especially after I took my human development class and we learned about the science of aging and what aging does to your body and how it messes with you both, not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually as well and since that human since taking that human development class I had this un unwavering fear of death and fear of getting old so being put into this class my first day I was so 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 nervous and when we uncovered we uncovered our the, the donor that we were going to learn from for the rest of the year I was so overwhelmed. I did not know how to process all of that. It was kind of, I felt like my, my soul had detached from my body. That's how I was learning to cope with it. And I'm not gonna lie, I lived with a lot of guilt for the next couple of weeks trying to cope with the fact that I am learning from this person who 
was so, so selfless to give up their bodies for the education of medical students, including myself and my classmates and medical students around the world. But then as the weeks went on and the more comfortable I got with human body dissection, I realized that each individual human body that decided to donate their bodies had such strong passion to be to use their bodies as a form of education to students. They cared about other people and that's why they donated their bodies. These are incredibly selfless beings. They knew exactly what they signed up for when they signed off that contract about being a human body donor and they weren't afraid. They weren't afraid of what will happen to them after death because they knew whatever did happen, thousands of people will benefit from it because the impact that each body donor had on me will influence me to take care of patients with compassion, love, and with my utmost best knowledge to treat other patients. But also, as the days went on, as I learned from the human bodies, I also learned that everybody had a personality. I got glimpses of people's personalities as I switched from body donor to body donor. One person all had very bright colored nails and they were so perfectly manicured and I could tell that this person loved going to the nail salon or doing their nails. This person had a hobby. This person did something completely human. Did, did this person did something that my girl uh, that I see my other girlfriends do? They love to go to the nail salon, get their nails on on every Sunday, and I imagine this person doing just that when they were alive. And it's so beautiful to see that even that is carried on towards their afterlife. That little piece of their life still had an impact after their de their death. There was also another person with a really, really like intricate tattoo, but over the years the tattoo had worn down and you couldn't even tell what the tattoo was of, but you could tell that this person had something so significant in their life that they had to get a tattoo of it and they kept it on them for many, 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 many years. And I'm a huge supporter of people who use artistic expression into their own bodies and tattoos is a way of doing that. And um, to see someone love a tattoo so, so much, even even if they know that over the years it's going to less, less and look less and less like it originally looked like, they were proud of that tattoo and they kept it in their bodies and they owned it um, right up until it was time for them to leave this world. And perhaps the most, the most inspirational thing that I learned while taking this class is that each and every human individual is different. Each one is so, so unique. You know, like they, they say this term that all human beings are the same. And yes, I do agree with it. But all human beings are also not the same. Each human person is different physically and or emotionally and or in any other ways. And especially when I was doing, doing human body dissections, I learned that, yes, we all have the same anatomical parts, but those anatomical parts can look different. One artery could branch off from another artery where it wasn't supposed to, or it could be further down or further up where it is supposed to be, and each individual human being has those unique anatomical variations, and I learned to appreciate it. I learned to appreciate that every human body is so different. And in the end, that made me realize that everybody should be appreciated, should be gassed up for their individual differences. That humanity is all equal because we are all different and that we should respect each and everyone's difference. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be weird. It's okay to be born without one kidney. It's okay to have an artery that's much bigger than the rest of the other arteries in your body and other bodies out there. It's okay for you to have a heart that's slightly bigger than the average heart size. And that's what makes us human. Humans are different. We're different on the inside and we are different on the outside. And we need to learn to appreciate and respect the difference that we have. 
and by respecting each and everyone's differences and marvelizing at it and seeing how beautiful it is, we can actually have an appreciation for humanity to take care of people, to love other people unconditionally. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I learned so much as far as medical knowledge in my gross anatomy classes, but more than anything, the one thing that's going to last for a lifetime with me, especially into my soul, is the fact that each and every one is special. And just because you're different doesn't mean that you shouldn't be appreciated. I love you guys. I hope this video was kind of inspirational for you guys. You guys got to see a little bit of how I work in the inside of my head. I'm so, so excited to make newer videos for you guys. I'm going to be more consistent. I tell myself this all the time. And if I am consistent enough, I really, really want to update this camera's lens. Like, I love my camera, but I really want to get away from the kit lens and get a really cool wide-angle bokeh type lens. See you guys on the next video. I love you. Mwah. This is Ben.